Vince and I went and saw Bo is Afraid at A24. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Wild this. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it kind of just a wild film? Like I, I've heard a number of things about it. I haven't like so just just coming from it. I love A twenty four. I love Ari Aster. I have not watched a single preview for this movie, so I know nothing about what it is. But when I've been looking through the interwebs, people are saying a lot of things, and they're like, "Oh, this, oh, that," and I'm like, "What do I believe?" So. As to not influence anything, I left out what people are saying. But what are you guys saying? What's your thoughts? Um, the more that I think about it, the more I kind of like understand because there's actually kind of a lot of love for this movie. Like across the web, it has good scores. Good, it has decent scores on Rotten Tomatoes. Like seventy five critics, seventy two audience. But to be fair, it did just come out. I kind of expect the audience score to probably drop a little bit as it yeah, actually we'll see. kind of releases because we'll we saw it in like a early. Yeah. release like a couple days before the actual release date which is uh kind of today tonight. it's technically tomorrow right but tonight because tonight's a thursday um and so i feel like as more people see it and we'll just kind of be dissatisfied with the kind of like in in a non-spoiler way like the continuity and easiness to follow of a plot line i guess or if lack. that makes sense no, i guess there's a plot line i was uh, gonna say or lack of a plot line yeah <laughs> <laughs> like, it's literally just about going through and experiencing yeah. these kind of crazy i wouldn't say like psychedelic but like surreal surreal and you know the words i always use are atmosphere right Ari Aster and what he can do with atmosphere and it's really interesting because in this movie he kind of broadens that from just like a horrific atmosphere to he has moments that are like calming atmospheres and almost like loving atmospheres and stuff like that and the crazy confused horrific still atmospheres and stuff like that and those moments where he can do that those moments are really incredible mm -hmm. right like i still have a few different you know moments from the movie that are in my mind and i was like the way that they did it and they set it up and the way that it felt was truly just amazing mm -hmm. and it was so crazy the way that he can just make you feel within a certain like you know few minute section in a movie my biggest i guess gripe was with the Except for like the very, very, very end, the movie is three hours long. I was and gonna like, ask how long it was because I yeah. heard it was over three hours. <laughs> it's about so. three. It's three hours, and just that last, you can feel it. Yeah, it. You can tell okay. that it's three. Once you're getting to the end there, and luckily, like the very, very end, kind of like you know does a little something different and whatnot. And so I was kind of like, I liked like that's the, the end, thing end. is like every section. Is like it's like very section. different than the section before it. And so every time it's just like rebooted my interest over and over again, where it got to the point where I was just like starting to feel a little laggy here, then it would switch to a different scenario or, or, or oh, and that's situation. Why and then it would get my attention again for a little while. And then I'd lose, kind of start to fall off. Yeah. It's like a roller coaster. of. And the second to last <laughs> section just kind of lost my interest very quickly. And it was already what, two and a half, two hours and 20 minutes into the movie. So like, that before the final section was just like dragging and I was like oh mm -hmm. my gosh and I kind of went into it trying to follow a plot line and kind of be like oh there's going to be all these crazy things that connect and stuff like that and there are things that connect and stuff you can find on the internet and whatnot but just like if you're going to go see Bo is Afraid just like go and be ready to experience that atmosphere that he can create right like you can go like pay attention to the movie and stuff like that but don't don't try to solve don't it. overhaul your brain trying to like follow what's happening and connect the dots yeah. just like let the movie happen and like experience it you still might like it you might not like it but just kind of like go in with that mindset that was one of the reliefs that i had when it ended because i spent the entire time trying to like figure out what was going on and the, that's one of the first things that I read after I got out was this guy's review, and it says, um, it's important to remember Bo is Afraid is not a puzzle to be solved or a mystery to be unlocked. That's by design. Sink into it and don't try to pick it apart, and you'll get it. Get stuck on the details, and you'll lose the plot. So it's basically like Josh's been saying, just go in for the ride. Don't try to solve it. And like I said, it was a relief for me because it ended. I was just like, am I an idiot? <laughs> I, I didn't get it. Like this went over my head. Why am I not? Why didn't I understand? Why couldn't I connect these these events together to make a solid like message or something? You know, 
And then I walked out and that's pretty much everyone's reaction is just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so is pretty much all the other uh, Ari Aster movies have been like horror centered. Yeah. Is there like got... any, is it more, I've heard it's more of like a black comedy. Yeah. Like kind of. It's funny. Oh, it is. It, like, it's funny. Funny versus like anything. Is there anything scary in it? Or yes. Is it? Okay. There's that. Uh, I wouldn't say there's anything scary. There is one scene that has the atmosphere of a horror, but it's not for very long. And definitely. It, and it, well, and there's really like, say about it. and there's also like horrific things that happen, I guess. Just like, I guess it might not be like too horror based where it's, you're not like, oh, I'm in like a it's dark not like hereditary room. where you're like, oh man, what's going on? Yeah, exactly. Or just like, of it or whatever. Okay. Yeah, no. So there's not anything that's like insanely horror driven, especially in like modern, like kind yeah. of horror expectations. Cause we know Ari Aster with like Midsommar and whatnot, right? He can create horror in the brightest of settings, right? And so it's like, there's scary stuff in it, but it's more just so like, how you kind of feel and how you think yeah. about what's going on and whatnot. Okay. Nothing that's too like stuff like that. There is some stuff that can be kind of uh, graphic, I guess. Lots. Of yeah. Stuff. There's <laughs> lots of stuff. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> both in a some violent <laughs> and also sometimes sexual way, there lot, can be yeah. like graphic stuff. There's lots of stuff in the background, just like dirty language, like oh, yeah. like very stuff that's gonna shock. You know, shock and awe is kind of what a lot of that stuff is just like yeah. very. It, it's it was interesting it was it was i don't regret seeing it i won't recommend it to anyone yeah either you're going to love it or you're going to hate it and i can't imagine it's going to make its money back and it's the most expensive a24 movie ever made so oh, yeah because just the production on that had yeah crazy. it's it's really cool but it's gonna be interesting to see how it all goes down like how it's received um it's got definite like cult classic written all over it you know for the people who love it are gonna love it and are gonna yeah. pick it apart and then most people are gonna be like what the crap was that i wasted three hours of my life <laughs> feels I'm like somewhere in the middle there <laughs> a college college professor will make you watch it and yeah exactly. <laughs> what, what did you get out of this movie <laughs> 